Hey y'all, I told you I would put these pictures on for you and I apologize that they didn't work right for my my live stream, but this is the auction I was talking about. Kids are being auctioned off to people in this setting and they're putting makeup on them and they're having to, they got a couple hours to spend with them trying to sell themselves to these potential uh adopt adopters uh this is the man tom that adopted frank and he kept look at this little boy's face how happy he was the day that he was being adopted and he brought him back in six months and said it, it didn't work out for me and that little boy was devastated and then there's <coughs> web pages over and over and over just with children's pictures that you can go through and pick which child you want and it has their bios it, it's unacceptable and this little girl uh this is her now but she was seven years old when she was adopt taken and dropped off at this calvin and nicole eason's house she didn't even know she was she was being dropped off or adopted out. These people abused her over and over and over. This is an underground market that has no regulations. So if you adopt a child, you can advertise your child to be rehomed, they call it, rehomed, as if they are a pet or something like that. Facebook has it. They, you can't sell weapons or animals on Facebook, but you can trade a child or adopt a child off of Facebook. This is a broken system. These people were serial pedophiles adopting children over and over. They finally were arrested and sentenced to 40 years in prison these two monsters would cross state lines and kidnap children and bring them back to Illinois and SA them. And they got 40 years. Not enough. It's just not enough. There's no regulations for adoptive parents to find other homes for those children that they've taken in. It isn't right. And there's got to be some changes. This is making our children too accessible to predators and other people that want to bring harm to them. It's just not right.